is well if you don't know me my name is shish and my video is on fashion bc and more and today's video is going to be my big summertime summertime haul i have actually picked up quite a few very cute pieces all very kind of like cottage core princess core and i thought i would just share with you everything that i've picked up since my last haul in the springtime so let me get started as always i'm gonna get started with what i'm wearing and the first piece is this very very cute top from miss selfridge actually which is not really somewhere that i ever really shopped but i saw this one in asos and i thought it was very cute and it was also on sale it's very kind of princess cool kind of regency romance but modern kind of vibes has these really cute kind of mesh like bows on the top and it's a really nice satin it's very light and soft on the skin but what i will say is that i would recommend wearing nipple covers if you do not want your nipples to be on display and that's all i'm going to say on that but i absolutely love the color it really goes with my little liz lisa earrings and a lot of other pieces i have in my wardrobe so that is piece number one now the second item is from a store that i honestly have not shopped at since i think i was maybe 14 and i kind of am regretting not checking them out a bit earlier and it's abercrombie and fitch because i found this stunning sheared pink floral dress which is just so gorgeous i really think it's like very love shack fancy vibes you've got the really cute kind of tie-up detail and it's just this gorgeous rose print and you've got the frills down here so it's very kind of mermaid vibes and it just kind of really elongates your body and i just think it's so elegant and it's a very perfect kind of daytime to nighttime dress like during the day i just wear it with like a cropped cardigan and some sandals and then at night time you know like maybe like a heeled sandal like a little clutch bag it's just so cute i absolutely love it and yeah very love shack fancy vibes and this was also on sale so yeah i love this <laughs> now the next piece is from asos and it's another one which i would say is very love shack fancy vibes too and it's this long kind of sundress if you follow me on instagram you would have already seen it i've worn this a few times but it's just kind of got this what is this called it's like a um, unfinished hem detailing all over, which I think is just a little bit different. It's very cute. And again, a really nice kind of pink and like kind of almost coral, like a dark coral color here. Um, and it's so gorgeous. I love the back detail. It's got this sort of open back with these stretches and it's just oh, honestly to die for. I love it and it's perfect for you know those high summer days it's just so so cute i love it it's so nice now also from asos is a piece that i actually customized myself so it's this sort of white ruched bodice top it's such a soft kind of jersey material almost kind of like a cotton jersey and the ruched bust detailing is so flattering as is the square neckline i mean you'll see it on anyway but i can try to try and give you more of an idea like this um, and what i actually decided to do because it was just plain is i just sewed on these roses here from a shop on Etsy. I can't remember the name, but I will link them down below. Just to kind of give it, you know, a bit more of a, a bit more of a fun twist, something a bit more me. And I love the way that the pink, the green and the white go together. I think it's just such a beautiful color combination. And as I'm going to say with every single piece, I love it. <laughs> And the next piece I'm going to show you is from a brand called Serpenti Apparel. It's kind of an independent brand. I think they're based in LA. It's somewhere in the US, but I had seen this on, who had seen it? On Camry Huey on Instagram, I'm just obsessed with. She's just so fabulous. And like her style is just unmatched. But I had seen this on her and I was influenced. I just had to get it. And it's this really cute kind of milkmaid esque top with again we've oh i've got a piece of blue fluff on there but it's this kind of milkmaid top we've got this gorgeous little cute bow here there's like lace detailing around the arms and it's just really really cute what i will say is that it's not super uncomfortable but i just think that there's not quite well for me anyway i feel like there's just not quite enough material in this section so it slightly digs into my shoulders but it's not uncomfortable enough for me to want to return it because it's honestly just so gorgeous i love this and it's always nice supporting a small independent brand but yeah i think it's so cute and i cannot wait to wear it on my girls weekend to the countryside which is well actually the time i'm uploading it will be 
happening. <laughs> Next, I am going to talk about you know, the summer pieces of just 2020, 2021, and it is House of Subi's Le Jardin collection. Now, they kind of remixed it this year, so they use the same prints as last year, but just kind of in different styles. And this top, I believe, is called the Millicent Top, and it's just, oh, can we just, I mean, the sleeves are poofy and gorgeous. They kind of come in in two places and create this just amazing silhouette on the arms. We have the puff sleeves up here, this kind of ruched, bust detailing, which I'm just super into at the moment. And a great thing about it is that it's also got a kind of corset structure on the inside. Not an uncomfortable one, but there's just a couple of bands in there. So it really keeps you like cinched in, but not in an uncomfortable way. It's just so beautiful. And I mean, it's spring, summer, perfect. It's perfect for spring and summer and just Oh God, I mean, the quality, I mean, House of CB is honestly, it's pricey, but worth every penny because you really get your quality and just an amazing fitting piece. So yeah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Next, we have the Tallulah dress. This was really the dress of the summer last year. I think the yellow print was definitely the one that I saw the most on my Instagram feed. And I remember thinking that, oh, I wish they had done the pink print that they had in this style of dress and my dreams were answered so thank you Connor Walker that it's just this gorgeous pink sundress I wore it the other day and it's just so comfortable and it's one of the pieces that has just made me feel so confident like I feel so pretty <laughs> when I wear this and just like comfortable and it's just gorgeous again we've got this kind of ruched bust detailing with the tie in the middle and then also puffy sleeves <laughs> and then also puffy sleeves and it's got a, a cheeky little thigh slit here which comes up not uncomfortably high but it definitely you can show some leg if you want to but yeah it's just gorgeous perfect for frolicking in fields and you know just living your best life so yeah absolutely adore this we'll be wearing this constantly this summer <laughs> the next piece that i'm going to show if you follow me on instagram or twitter you will know i wear this at least like twice a week and have done ever since i bought it and it's this gorgeous floral skirt in the ruby bloom print from needle and thread i am obs i mean i'm wearing a needle and thread skirt right now i'm obsessed with these skirts they are on the pricier side but i managed to get uh, this one and all of the ones i've gotten actually on sale so it checks the lander definitely because they always have some reduced but it's just gorgeous i fell in love with this ruby bloom print last summer i believe is when it was first released and i'd seen this skirt and i didn't buy it and i just always regretted it and then literally after being in my wish list on zalando for i want to say a good six months or so i got the notification that one came back in my size and you better believe i ran to that checkout it's oh, just so gorgeous you have the printed mesh overlay and then the printed skirts below so you kind of get this almost like 3d effect and it's so comfy because it's got the elasticated waistband and just oh i love it it's so cute uh, the next piece that I'm going to talk about is from Liz Lisa and it's actually one that I got second hand on Macari. Now Macari is kind of like, I don't know, maybe like a Depop almost? It's, you can just buy second hand things from there and I got this from the Japanese Macari through Bai.jp. I mean I'll leave the link for all of it down below but it's this gorgeous, gorgeous heart shaped bag which is just I mean, heart-shaped anything has my heart, and I just cannot get over this one. And it's actually in really good quality as well, so I'll just hold this up a little bit closer so you can see it, but it's adorable. And usually I'm not really someone who wears a lot of red just because, I don't know, I've never really felt like it suited me um, that well, but there's something about this like really lush crimson colour with the cream that I just could not resist. I think it's so cute and I am... Um, I'm just in love. <laughs> I also have a pair of shoes to show you and it's these really cute green velvet. Uh, I guess you could call them a kitten heel. It's like a block kitten heel and they're from ASOS and again, green is not a colour that I ever felt particularly drawn to but there's something about this green, especially 
with my needle and thread skirt that I just think it's just perfect. It's very spring core. I know that's one of the cores that's very in at the moment, but they're just so cute. I love the bow detailing and they're super comfy too. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these. I also have uh, two swimsuit pieces to show you. So the first one is from And Other Stories and it's this gorgeous broderie anglaise blue, I like to call this Bridgerton blue because it just gives me such Daphne Bridgerton vibes, but it's this bikini top from And Other Stories and it's just so flattering on. I feel so comfortable in it. And then this is what the bottoms look like. And honestly, I don't know if I'll be going anywhere this summer where I'll be able to swim because obviously, you know, the global situation, but I just think, you know what? A bikini is something that you can keep in your wardrobe for a very long time. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And I, they did come out with a pink one, which I had bought the blue one and then they released the pink one like a week later. And I was thinking about buying it, but honestly, I, resisted because I do not need the same bikini in two colours. Or maybe I do. <laughs> also from Under Other Stories, I didn't get the bottoms because the shape of the bottoms just don't really suit me, but I got this bikini top and it's in this pink gingham and it's kind of like a waffle material. I don't know if you you can catch that from up close, but it's again this sort of bandeau with straps that are removable. Um, and I just love it. I think it would even look really cute as a little crop top with a high-waisted skirt. Um, I just think it's super cute. I love this color combination and I love gingham. It's perfect for this time of year. So yeah, I got this one also. And this one was also on sale, so yeah. <laughs> I also have two accessories and they are these bandanas from a shop called Heighty Tighty on Etsy and they are just so, so pretty. I haven't actually worn these yet, but I think I'm going to take them with me um, on my trip to the countryside with my friends and they're just so pretty. This is the print. It's like this really cute floral print. We've got this gorgeous broderie on glaze detailing here and it's just so gorgeous so i got the pink one and then i also got the lilac one and i think they had like a yellow um a blue there's a couple i think green as well so i'll link the shop down below but yeah these are so cute <laughs> and then finally the last thing i got because you cannot have summer without picnics and you cannot have a picnic without a good picnic blanket is this picnic blanket from Kat Hudson. It's in a super cute, super cute cherry print. I mean, I'm not gonna spread the whole thing out because I don't think I'll be able to show it to you all in this video, but it's this print here. So it's this really cute cherries print and I think it was like 30 pounds or so, which honestly for something like a picnic blanket that's waterproof and that I know I'm gonna use for years, I was not averse to paying. But yeah, it's so cute. I absolutely love this and I just can't wait to get some more use out of it. So that is everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know your favorite pieces down below if you'd like. In the meantime, between videos, you can catch up with me on my Instagram, which is at peony and cream, on my Twitter, which is the same handle. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.